Hi, welcome to Wise Guys. Today we're going to be working on solving equations and isolating the variable. An equation is a symbolic statement that two algebraic expressions are equal. So if we look at this, 5 plus 4 equals 9. These are symbolic statements. The plus and the equals are both symbols. And we know that 5 plus 4 equals 9. So this is not quite an algebraic expression, but it is an expression that is equal. The same with 6 times 7 equals 42. Now normally when we're working with algebraic expressions, we're working with the variable, which is the unknown number. Now it's important to remember that this thing is a number. Our x is a number but it's just a number we don't know. And an example is x equals 7 minus 4. In this situation, we can tell just by looking at it that x must be 3, because the 3 must equal the 3. In this other equation here, we have 3 plus x equals 15. And by looking at it, we can sort of surmise that the x has got to be 12. But how do we solve something that's more complicated than this, that we can't just look at to solve? And that's what we're going to be talking about in this video. When we're solving equations, what we're doing is trying to find the variable, which is the unknown, the unknown number. There's one essential rule. You have to perform the same operation on both sides of the equation. So for example, if we had six peanuts on the left side and six peanuts on the right side, if we remove two from this from the right side, we'd have to do the same from the left side. Just makes common sense. And you can multiply, divide, add, or subtract from one side of an equation in order to get the result that you need, but what you do to one side of the equation, you must do to the left, or to the other side of the equation. Now here's some examples. If we have x added to another number and equaling a, a 20, so we have x plus 4 equals 20, what we want to do is subtract our 4 in order to get the x by itself. So we're going to take x plus 4 and subtract 4. The reason we're subtracting the 4 is 4 minus 4 equals 0, and we want to get x by itself. So what we do on the left side of the equation, we must do on the right, so we have 20 minus 4 on the right-hand side. Now these two 4s will cancel, because they equal 0, and we're left with x equals 20 minus 4, which is 16. Now normally what you do is go back into your equation and check to make sure it's correct. So we've solved for x equals, uh, that x equals 16. So we go back to our equation, x plus 4 equals 20. We put our 16 in for our x, so we have 16 plus 4 equals 20, and that is correct, so we know 16 is the correct answer. Now we have an equation of x minus 4 equals 20. We have a negative 4 here, so what we would do to get rid of this minus 4 is add a 4. So x minus 4 plus 4. If we add a 4 to the left side, we must add a 4 to the right side. 20 plus 4. It's, and it helps to just take these steps, to slow it down a little bit, take these steps, add the 4, say, oh yeah, these are going to be 0, add the 4 on the right side, then cross out here and rewrite x equals 20 plus 4, which is 24. Now again, we're going to take what we know, plug it back into the original equation, and see if it works. x minus 4 equals 20. Our x is 24, so we say 24 minus 4 equals 20, which is correct. 
Now in this equation we have 4 times x equals 20. When you have a multiplication, if you notice with these other two, what we did was the opposite. We were adding here, so what we did was subtract. We were subtracting the 4 on this second equation, so we added 4. Here we multiply, the 4 is multiplied by the x, so we are dividing by the 4, because 4 divided by 4 is 1. What we do on the left, we do on the right, so we divide by 4 here. These two cancel, again, because 4 divided by 4 is 1, and 1 times x is just x. And we're left with x equals 20 over 4, which is 5. Now, we plug our 5 back into the original equation. 4x equals 20, so that means 4 times 5, and 4 times 5 does equal 20, so our answer is correct. <coughs> For our last equation, we have x divided by 4. It's divided, so the opposite of that is multiplication. What we're going to do is multiply by 4 on the left side, and the reason we're doing that is because 4 divided by 4 is 1. So that will get rid of the 4 in the denominator. If we multiply by 4 on the left side, we must multiply by 4 on the right side. These two 4's cancel, and we're left with x equals 20 times 4, which equals 80. Now we go back to our original equation again and just check. We perform a check, so we have x divided by 4 equals 20. Our x again is 80, so 80 divided by 4, and that does indeed equal 20, so we know we're correct. Now, let's try some examples. Here we have 5x minus x equals 20 plus 4. And again, what we're trying to do is isolate the variable. So we have two x's here, and we need to get all of our x's together. So remembering, if you go back to the videos on um, addition of algebraic expressions, you'll see, if you're not sure how to add these up, you'll see uh, in that video what you need to do. When you have x by itself, you really just have a 1 in front of the x. It actually can be called 1 times x. So here we have 5x minus 1x, which is 4x. And on the right, we have 20 plus 4, which is 24. Now we have 4 multiplied by x. So what we do to get rid of the 4 is divide by 4, because 4 divided by 4 is 1. What we do on the left, we must do on the right, so we divide here. On this side we cancel, and we're left with x equals 20, 4 divided by 4, which is 6. Now we're going to check to see if it's correct. Our original equation was 5x minus x equals 24. So we have 5 times 6 minus 6, which we hope equals 24. This is 30 minus 6, which is indeed 24. So this is correct. Here we have 9 minus 4x equals 8x. Now there's this idea sometimes that you have to always have your variable on the left side, it's not necessarily correct. As long as you have your variable in the numerator, that's what you want. In this case, I'm going to take this minus 4x and move it over to the right side because I don't want to have a negative in front of my x. So I, I have a negative 4x here, I'm going to add 4x to the left side. So 9 minus 4x plus 4x and what I do on the left, I must do on the right. So this is 8x plus 4x. The 
these two cancel. On the left, and again, minus 4x plus 4x just gives me 0. On the left, I'm left with 9, and 9 equals 8x plus 4x. When I combine those two together, I end up with 12x. So we have 12x on the right side. Now I have 12 multiplied by the x. To get rid of the 12, I divide by 12. So on the right side, I divide by 12, and on the left side, I divide by 12. These two cancel, and I'm left with x equals 9 over 12, which reduced is 3 over 4. Okay. Now, if you want, you can go back and do the check on this equation. Uh, it's a good idea when you're working through these to just take these this 3 quarters back, put it into the original equation, and make sure that it equals. This next question. 8 minus 5x minus x equals 14. And in this case, we're going to add together our minus 5x and our minus x. Again, there's a 1 in front of that x. So that's the first thing I'm going to deal with. I'm not going to work, worry about anything else right now. So this is 8 minus the minus 5 and the minus 1 give me minus 6. So we have minus 6x equals 14. Now I don't really want to have that minus 6 there, but right now I'm not going to worry about it. I'm going to take this 8 and move it over to the other side. So I'm going to subtract 8 from the left side, and I'm going to subtract 8 from the right side. 8 minus 8 is 0, so those two are gone. And I'm left with minus 6x equals 6. Now I have minus 6 multiplied by x. So on the left, I divide by minus 6, because minus 6 divided by minus 6 gives me 1. What I do on the left, I must do though on the right. So I divide by minus 6. <coughs> on the left, my minus 6 is cancel and I'm left with x equals minus 1. And again, we can check our answer. Let's just do that with this question. We have 8 minus 5x minus x equals 14. 8 minus, again, x is minus 1. So minus 5 times minus 1 minus now don't forget x is minus 1, so it's minus minus 1 equals 14. So now let's just deal with all these minuses. So we have 8 minus 5 times minus 1 is plus 5. Minus 1 times minus 1 is plus 1. So we have 8 plus 5 plus what? which does indeed equal 14, so our answer is correct. So there we've been in isolating the variable in solving equations, and uh, I hope you have a good day.